Okay, first up today, though, is that time of the week where we put the latest celebrity showbiz stories under the showbiz spotlight. Now, first up, pictures of Victoria Beckham doing a spot of shopping have emerged in shop of shopping have emerged in the papers this week because uh, she's not shopping alone. She's got a few helpful men on hand to help her carry her bags, as you can see there. So, how's Vicky B got the right idea? Should every woman have a man to carry her bags? Oh yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't. I, I think that's you know. I think that's very gentlemanly-like, and uh, you know. I, I, I like to put things in the basket and wheel at now and again, but when it comes to actually the stacking of it and in the supermarket, that is, as the girls know there, I like, you know, I like to take my bags and then give them to somebody else. Don't you love Jane's work? <laughs> <laughs> she just made shopping Another sound planet, like planet, isn't it? You know. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have a gentleman around who, who uh, you know. Well, and you're very lucky, and I'm very happy for you. Yes. I never had one, oh. and I spent years like a donkey, you know. And in fact, I used to give myself a comeback. How many bags could I carry to the point that somebody would say, can we help you at all? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then a lot Along came Mr. Spain. Aww. And he carries the bags. And actually, he's, I said you can, you know, test a man by the strength of where, if he can wear a pink shirt and carry a handbag. And I've been doing, <laughs> I've been doing all these book talk things, and I have to give my handbag to somebody. So he stands there with my bag, properly over his shoulder, chatting to all the ladies how I was going awfully well with this sort of bag on his shoulder and he's marvellous. Oh, he's a real man. He's so a real man, darling. He even carries your handbag as well. Yes. That's me nice. over the head. That's oh, that's you know, I think it's terribly ill-mannered of a man to, to watch a lady struggle with her bags. And I have no truck with it and I will quite happily shame them. Same thing if you're trying to get through a door. Um, you know, when you, or you're watching somebody else struggle to get through and you open a door for somebody and they just pass through without acknowledging it. Mm -hmm. That's oh. when, well, then I go from kind to nasty like that. And I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. It's the same when I let somebody through in the car. You know when you flash them oh, to come through terrible. and they just drive through? I oh. think, I turn the car around, I'm coming back. Do you know what's even worse is when you don't really want help? All my life I've been helped with bags. <laughs> <laughs> All my life. Even like with a little clutch bag, people think I can't manage. <laughs> drives me nuts. I'm like, I'm all right. I may be very, very small, but I can carry my bags. <laughs> Do you know what? Somebody does it. The other day, I was, in, I was doing the weekly shop, and it's so boring, isn't it, ladies? Go in and you buy the same old stuff every week. It's the same old grind, you know, lugging it down the, to the car, unpacking it again. It's like, oh, God, so monotonous. Oh, yeah. And, and I, was, I was getting it all in, and I'd hurt my hand, and it was quite obvious that my hand was hurt. And a man, just, just, a, uh, just a guy that was doing his shopping, came over and he said, let me help you. Oh. And he packed my shopping oh. and escorted me to my car. And I promise you, I had tears in the back of my eyes as he I thanked him. He picked your handbag. <laughs> 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 no, he didn't pick me handbag. Well, there was a terrible thing happened to me. I didn't realise. I, I was staying at this hotel and, of course, I travel with a lot of cases because I'm on tour. No. Yes, I do. I have lots of bags to carry, you see. And I didn't realise. I just saw this, this fella. Um, and I just said, the bags are in the back, thank you very, very much. <laughs> Not realising that it was actually James Martin, the chef. <laughs> <laughs> the tilly. And he went and got me bags. No. <laughs> no, but the real beauty of that story is, is that Jane was totally unaware that it was James Martin until he came on the show and went, by the way, I'm not a bellhop, but I, <laughs> but I gladly took... He took your bags for you, didn't he? I know, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I thought I didn't tip him at all. <laughs> Mick Jagger and his former wife Jerry Hall have allegedly put their foot down with their youngest daughter Georgia May Jagger over her showbiz lifestyle. The 18-year-old schoolgirl reportedly pulled out of a launch this week because she'd been grounded. Now Georgia might be the next big thing in the modelling world, but wily old Mick is determined that she gets her head down, cracks on with the studies, and gets her A-levels. So, has the former wild man of rock Mick got a leg to stand on when it comes to grounding his daughter? Do we think is, is I do he, think he has, qualified? Yes. Yeah, I do. I, I actually think parents who who've been there and done it a bit, have more right to say, listen, I it, we all know they're going to go and do the opposite of what you asked them to do, but she is 18. It, we all know what... Well, the world out there is a bad world. Why encourage them in there if you, if you can just say to them, hang on, you've got lots of time, you're doing your A-levels, please finish that, you'll never have the chance to do them again. Just... You know, and, she, and we don't know how badly she's behaved. She could have been really naughty and he's had to... Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, but then again, you do look at Jerry Hall and you look at Mick Jagger and their past and you think, well, they haven't done pretty bad for themselves either, do you? So you cannot 
say to the child, don't do as I do, do as I say. And I must admit, I know a lot of very successful people who left school at 15. So, I mean, what's to say that if you do take your A-levels, that you will get that no, fantastic job? I don't think it's job. the A-levels, I think it's the discipline. I think it, it what, what the A-levels, yeah, of course, it's great but to get A-levels. she's 18, A -levels. isn't she? She's 18. Yeah, but if she's out, yeah, but just because some people go out and go mad at 18, I think to try and keep, stave it off as long as possible and keep her away from those temptations, when she's in that world where she's earning quite good money as a model, it's, it's all a bit excessive. She's I'd out, she's worried. working, learn by your mistakes, I think, let her get out yeah, there and do it. Yeah, but are you going to listen to Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall if they're your mum and dad saying, <laughs> in at 10 o'clock, get that makeup off your face? Yes. <laughs> no, no. they're their mum and dad, they're but, not Mick Jagger and Jerry but, but Hall. But also, I, in some ways, she's been a model, hasn't she? Mm. She's had quite a successful modelling career. It's, I think it's a bit late to say, well, look, you've been a very successful model, you've probably made yourself a few quid, now you've got to stay in, do your yeah. A-levels. I think they probably should have put their foot down sooner. And really? I don't know, I don't know if... if well, we you don't can't know ignore... if they have, in, no, in fairness to them. No, of course but, not, but, but... And we all know how bad it is as a parent. You do want, you get it right one week and then you blow it the next, don't you? So yeah. they're trying, better late than never. And also, you know, do you remember your 18-year-old self? How easy were you to contain? Not very. I know I needed a firm hand. I oh, spent so three months I. grounded. <laughs> <laughs> From my parents, fellas. <laughs> but you can't rebel, can you? If you've got rock and roll parents, you can't go, oh, you don't understand. You never did what I did. You don't do what I do. Well, they've done it all, haven't they? What she Which... should have done is stayed in. That would have been rebellion. I don't want to go out. Yes. They could be going, go out there, babe. <laughs> yes. I'd rather not, thank you. Yes. <laughs> That's what she should do. <laughs> OK, time for us to...